If you're looking to use a continuous glucose monitor because you're trying to improve your blood sugar levels and you've been going down the rabbit hole of CGM providers, manufacturers, you might be confused because at this point in 2024, there are a lot of options. So I know that can sometimes be paralyzing and it's hard to figure out what to do, but I want to turn that into an asset because you have a lot of choices now. So I want to break that down in this video. My name is Karen Kennedy. I'm a functional nutritionist specializing in helping people with their metabolic health, improving their blood sugar, and using continuous glucose monitors. So what we're going to do today is talk a little bit about how this whole CGM business works, um, factors to consider when choosing a service provider, and a little bit of price comparisons. So first of all, there's a difference between a CGM manufacturer and a CGM service provider, if you want to call it that. We're going to talk about service providers today because there's really only two manufacturers of continuous glucose monitors that realistically that we're using at home. And that's Abbott that makes the Freestyle Libre suite of CGMs and Dexcom. So we're going to talk about the service providers that, that provide apps that help take that CGM data to your phone so you can interpret it and, and actual people who help you and support you using this to improve your health. That's what we'll talk about today. So the factors to consider when you're choosing one of these, this is where the different providers vary. They vary in which CGM they use, whether it's the Dexcom or the Freestyle Libre. Um, and you'll want to decide this based on your own tech savvy. You know, some of these require a little more tech savvy, a little, little bit more of a learning curve to use their, their app. You might have certain medical issues that make you want to choose one service provider or the other. Um, there's a certain type of support some people prefer. Some people really like an app-based support. Some people want to talk to a human. And of course, there's also price. So these are all factors that I think you can be considering and that differ between the service providers. So I, what I think of is there's actually three categories of service providers right now. Um, there's the full service apps with all the bells and whistles. And when I say all the bells and whistles, they have a really great app that uses AI, artificial intelligence, to help interpret your data. They rely on you entering your food and it kind of interprets it for you. Some of them have communities you can be part of. Um, some have in-app nutrition support. Some have labs they can order for you. And they also ship you the continuous glucose monitor as part of the price. And examples of this are NutriSense, Cygnos, and Levels. Great companies, you know, especially for um, a generally healthy person who wants to stay that way, who's also pretty tech savvy. And then there's a couple of less expensive providers, um, but they have practitioner dashboards. So the benefits of these are you might have a healthcare practitioner who, um, who works through this app and can see your data and support you through this app. And this includes Thea and Vary. And I should include Cygnos because Cygnos is also an all the bells and whistles app. And they also have um, a dashboard for practitioners to use. Now with these apps, because typically you are not working with a licensed healthcare practitioner, so they have restrictions on who can use their services. And those restrictions differ slightly between those companies. Um, some of them um, disclose them, you know, on the front page on their website. Some of them you figure out as you're applying for the services, they'll decide if you're a good fit. So these restrictions could include having diabetes, if you're using insulin, if you're pregnant or trying to get pregnant, if you're undergoing cancer treatment, under 18, et cetera. Um, all of, some of these will apply to all of these providers because they don't, you're not under the supervision of a licensed healthcare practitioner. Um, the third category is when you actually just work with a healthcare practitioner who uses a CGM to support patients. And the example of that would be the Hack Your Blood Sugar program. And that's the one that we run. So we use the free software that comes with the Freestyle Libre and Dexcom. And we train clients how to interpret that data and we support them kind of like a traditional um, patient provider relationship. And so if there are other complex medical issues going on, then not only are we looking at blood sugar, but we're factoring in the bigger picture. Um, hack your blood sugar. Also, you don't, it's helpful to have um, a modern smartphone that your CGM data can come through because those other apps require a modern smartphone with NFC capability. 
um, hack your blood sugar because you're actually working with a human, you can use this with the reader where you manually upload data. That will work with them too. So in terms of a price comparison, this is just a rough price comparison. Um, what I did is I put, I put together what it would cost for that first month. Because, you know, with most of these NutriSense Levels app, very, and Thea Health, if you commit to like a three, six or 12 month period of use, the monthly cost goes down. Um, so this is the one month price. Um, it tells you what their support is. For example, Hack Your Blood Sugar, what we do is you get weekly Zoom calls with me, a licensed nutritionist. Um, with others, some of them like NutriSense and whatnot, they have an in-app nutrition support in addition to the AI app. Some just have the AI app um, and they use different CGMs. For example, as it Hack Your Blood Sugar, we prefer using Freestyle Libre, but we also support Dexcom. NutriSense does the Libre, so does Levels does the Libre. That's a mistake here. They also support Dexcom. Cygnos supports Dexcom. Very and Thea support Freestyle Libre. So um, that's a rough price comparison. But when you go to their websites, you'll see um, a bigger breakdown in the support that they provide. And also what I've done, there's an article that goes along with this video. And it's an overview of continuous glucose monitor services in 2024 that we just released. And we, um, we've done a breakdown of company by company of the services they provide, some of their restrictions. So it's all in one place for you. So I encourage you, if you still have questions, to go there to review these different things. There's some links for you. I think there's some, some affiliate codes in there too for you. So have a look there. And if you like content like this and you wanna hear more, um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe.